Let me show you the best way to test your Facebook ads so you can get lower costs and higher volume without necessarily spending much more. And there's really a few key methods that I like to go about testing and doing things for lower costs. And what I wanna start off by saying is that a lot of people can view testing as a bad thing. Um, sometimes if I talk to a client or sometimes if I'm telling someone to test more, like, oh, well, isn't testing a bad thing because we're constantly testing, shouldn't we be not testing at some point? Um, and that's definitely not how Facebook ads work. You wanna be always testing something. I think most ad platforms work that way as well usually. The same thing goes with YouTube, Google, TikTok, Pinterest, Native. You should always be testing something, even if it's something small. Um, and you should have your winners that are running and that are active and that are getting the majority of the results for you that are really like your breadwinners, think of it that way. And you should also have your testing campaigns, which should be finding new things. So let's just say worst case scenario, something dies on your primary like breadwinner campaign or your breadwinner ads that you have something to fall back on. So it's really important to always be testing. It is not a bad thing. You always wanna be testing. And in order to really test the right way, I think you gotta have a framework around it. So let me show you a few ways that I like to test and a framework that I like to think about testing. And you can try it out for yourself. This works for lead gen, um, e-commerce. This works for really any industry out there, real estate, coaches, consultants, um, selling low ticket products, affiliate stuff. It works for everything out there. So let's get right into it. And the first way that I'm gonna tell you to test correctly really comes down to testing the core three pieces um, in your ad, the, the main pieces that build up your ad. So in this case, there's really three pieces. Your audience, so things like age range, location, interests, placements. There's your creative, so like the picture itself. And then there's the copy, like the actual text. So those are the three core things that I really like to focus on testing. And the biggest point to make sure you're testing them the right way is to isolate specific variables. So if you're testing audience, the only thing that should change in that campaign or ad set should be audience. If you're testing creative, the only thing that should be being like different is the creative and so on and so forth. Testing one of these things at any given time is a really good idea. So for example, um, I've got this ad that is working pretty well. It's getting me sales at around 39 bucks a pop. Not bad at all. However, I wanna see what can I test to get this lower. Using basically these metrics as context clues to tell me what to do next is what's gonna help me out a lot. Um, and what I do to, how I know these context clues, I've been doing it for a really long time, but if you're like, what the heck is he doing? Um, how does he know to change that because of that? <clears throat> see below in the description, I have a cheat sheet that'll show you really how to get in detail of why I'm looking at certain metrics and, and whatnot from there. So just a heads up on that. So in this case, I'm looking at this ad, doing well. It's got a great click-through rate of 9%. It's got a really good link click-through rate of 3.8. Cost per link click's a little bit higher at two, and the CPM's at 97. Now this ad is also dynamic, so I'm actually gonna split it out, and I'm getting the majority of my results at the best cost from this middle ad right here. And even this middle ad, CPMs are quite expensive. The click-through rate and uh, link click-through rate and click-through rate are, however, are pretty solid. Um, so these two are really the main winner. I'm gonna go with this one. It just needs more volume. So what I'm gonna test first is gonna be the audience. Why? This CPM is the worst metric out of everything. And from what I believe is that this CPM of $100 is driving up this cost per link click, making everything a little bit more expensive and making it harder to scale. So with that being said, what we're gonna do is test an audience here. So I'll go ahead and I'll duplicate this. And it doesn't really matter how you do it, but I'll duplicate this original campaign. And I'm actually gonna remove this interest and keep it very, very broad and just leave it as open like that. So we'll just say broad, women only. And I'm actually gonna turn off dynamic creative as well and just pick that one creative that was working. And for audience tests, Specifically, I like to start uh, start them at a lower budget. Usually under 15 bucks is what I start my audience tests at. Um, and we'll just say winning this. I'll go ahead and I'll pick my creative. 
And recently Facebook recommends these ad optimizations. When I'm testing something, I turn these off because what could happen is it'll give me a creative like this. And let's say it's winning. Well, I'll think then that, okay, this is working and I'll go make more creatives like it. But in reality, it's maybe just this banner that helped it, which is fine, but it's hard to see that in the reporting. So I'll, I'll usually turn on these um, image optimizations once I have something that I know is working. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll publish it. And that's a very simple way to very quickly test something and try to see if you can get something new out of it some kind of a new winner, right? You're not necessarily spending that much more. You're not creating anything new. You're just tweaking the audience. So one of those three things is one of the ways that I like to test and really optimize for better performance through paid ads. The next thing that I like to do um, is a little bit of a side hack is by actually trying to launch things on a different ad account. So for this specific offer, I've actually got ads launched here and this is at getting purchases at 39 bucks a purchase in the past week, but I also launch them on a different ad account. And this one, however, is actually a little bit more expensive. However, the one ad that's winning is getting them overall at a cheaper cost, which is really, really interesting. This is such an easy method that anyone can do to try to lower their ad costs, literally without doing anything different besides switching it to a different ad account. Um, we did this with a different client and I mean, for them, this was like their original account. Like in the past 30 days, you can see lead costs of like 60 to $30. So it averages out around like 50 and the same 30 days over here, we cut lead costs essentially in half by doing nothing else besides duplicating the winners into a different ad account. Really easy hack that anyone can do. I highly recommend that. So that's the second thing that I like to do a second little tip. And lastly is playing with the budget specifically. So what you could do, for example, um, let's go to, you need to have an ad you need to have at least a few winners. You can't just do it with like one ad specifically. Um, so let's say you have a couple of winners here. So for example, in this one, um, I've got, like I showed a little while ago, a few creatives in here that are winning. A very easy way to scale your stuff without necessarily spending too much more is by taking these two, putting them into a CBO, setting either a bid cap on them or just putting them in the CBO and letting them do their thing. I've talked about this a lot in a lot of my other previous videos. You could set it up a multitude of ways, but try to see which works best for you because some people it's going to work better doing CBO with no bid cap, other offers and other people to work better with CBO and bid cap. So just to reiterate, I'll take at least two winners that I have, duplicate them into a brand new fresh campaign that's a CBO and I'll try both. I'll try a bid cap and I'll try not. So those are three really simple ways that I like to scale my campaigns and test things for better results. If that makes sense, if you have any questions, comment below, like this video. I host free workshops every month, free live. I'm actually there teaching paid ad workshops to show you and answer your questions, the best ways to test, show you the best ways to scale, the best way to come up with new ideas for ads and really how to properly manage your account on a day-to-day -day basis to ensure that you're getting the best results for yourself or for your clients. So if you're interested in joining that link will be in the description. If you're watching this at a later date, they're always kind of rolling in once a month. Um, so you can always feel free to join them. I'll see you there. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you in the next video.